Right now, a Northland town is reeling, and police are searching for two teenagers. Now they say they are suspects in the drive-by shooting that left a teenager dead in Parkville overnight. Lindsay Shively's live in Parkville. Been there all morning this morning, getting the very latest. Lindsay, good morning. Hey, good morning, Krista and Curtis. Police say they have one suspect in custody that was driving one of those cars. They have the car, and they have possibly the weapon. This is where all of this started, the intersection of 45 and 9 highways. The victim was driving east here, down 45, and then the suspect's car was driving on 9 highway here and turned west. And when the suspect's car passed the victim's car, police tell us somebody leaned out of the back window of the suspect's car and shot into the victim's car with a rifle. The victim was the one driving. He was hit by that bullet, a 17-year-old boy. His passenger leaned over, took control of the car, drove it a couple of blocks down 45 here into Price Chopper to jump out and get help and call 911. But, of course, the victim, the 17-year-old boy, did end up passing away from that bullet. Now, this is definitely not a typical night in Parkville. In fact, police tell us there hasn't been a murder here for 15 years. I think it's it's really scary. I mean, we, you know, you choose to live in Parkville, and you find out that it's just like everywhere else, and it's scary. We've just talked to police here in Parkville who tell us that they have the weapon because that suspect uh, that they have in custody took them to where they threw it out of the car, a deserted road in Kansas City, Kansas. This is what that suspect is telling them. They are looking for two more suspects now, the shooter that was in the back seat and another person that was supposedly in this car. They are not releasing the victim's name just yet, but uh, charges could come as early as today. We're live in Parkville, Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News.